last week saw us arriving in Wells. So we're in beautiful Wells Harbour. They've changed the entrance, so instead of going through and around the east side of the marshes, you now come straight down the west side. So that's brilliant. That you still have to weave as you come in and come past the lifeboat station, but then east, west, uh, back side of the lifeboat station, it's just a straight run through. Oh, we're a little bit closer into the town now. I'm just relaxing before we go grab some fish and chips and uh, Frenchies. Started off beautiful this morning, but now it's a little bit drizzly. I think we're in for this for most of the morning, so it's going to be a day of uh, dodging the showers, and well, I've got a little bit of work to do anyway. I need to do some engine checks. So this is the new channel that they dug all the way down the west wall. Still very narrow, but a much simpler entry. So two years ago when we came here, uh, we took a sharp turn to port there and entered down the east bank. Angry skies above at the moment. I expect a little bit of rain now. So even though we've got the traffic thundering on the road behind us. There's still an air of peace and tranquility here. The Outer Harbour is reserved uh, for commercial vessels servicing the uh, wind farms or oh, by special permission from the Harbour Master. These are, will be all locals that have their own You may come in and the Harbour Master's discretion. Uh, to provide shelter in an emergency. And the entrance is just there, just round from the old lifeboat station. 
then ahead under construction. It's brand new state of the art lifeboat station. Once again, another storm on this way by the look of it. We're having it today. Let's get it all out of one. So heading down towards the beach. See again the running all the way out. to us is uh, well, very similar in style to the Mary Ann Hepworth uh, in Hull, just a slightly smaller version. Lucy Labours, this one is also used for our, uh, tours. So this is our last evening in Wells, quite pleasant, tide's coming in, the horse is going to get his feet wet. We set off between 7 and 7.30 in the morning, so not, nothing too drastic, uh, just got to work out uh, how we're going to get off the quay. So just getting ready, it's another early-ish start, just after 6 o'clock. Uh, we're all set, ready to leave Wells and head back up to Hull, back to Hull. After the weather we've had over the last few days, this is looking quite uh, quite pleasant. We've got uh, a southerly wind by the, by the feel of it, just blowing on, on our stern, so it's uh, just a gentle breeze. So I'll help blow us back up the uh, Lancashire coast. We use a forward line to act as a spring just to allow us to out of our berth in Wales. Yeah, will do. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Are you coming back tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. is the inner wind farm and there is a boat heading down that way and all this space that we have got according to our Navianics if we all continue as we are we are going to collide 
We're on a collision course. Oh no! Who will give way? Dave is saying we will. <laughs> so one of the work boats in the uh, wind farm is pushing against the top of uh, one of the turbines and I don't know if you can pick out all the black smoke coming off. So that is green energy. Enjoy it! Yeah, beautiful! <laughs> 